Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another installment in the Unify Fundamentals series here on the Simple Networks YouTube channel. This is video number four in the series, so if you haven't watched the first three videos yet, I highly recommend you do so, especially if you are looking to get the full rundown on Unify, and you want to be prepared for today's topic. In this video, we are going to be focusing specifically on the Unify Talk application. By the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of the Unify Talk application, how it works, and how you could go about setting it up for yourself. I don't like wasting time, so let's pop our networking hats on and get started. So Unify Talk is yet another piece of software in that Unify software suite we keep talking about, and it's used to manage the Unify line of voice over IP desk phones, as well as the Unify Talk subscription service, which is a SIP service. Like many other Unify products, it's very much designed to be an all-in-one solution where you don't have to leave the ecosystem to get everything you need. Management of the Talk application and its associated devices is the same as with Unify Network and Protect. You get that polished and easy to use management interface. I won't harp on that too much as we've been over it. You should kind of get the idea by now. Ubiquity's marketing suggests that Unify Talk is a plug-and-play solution, which I actually think is fair. It's certainly very easy to get going and can be deployed extremely quickly provided you have the proper planning. One of the best parts of Unify Talk is its significant integration with other applications, including Unify Protect and Unify Access. In terms of Unify Protect, we, uh, have our, which we have already covered in this series, you can view your security cameras right from your Unify desk phone, which is pretty neat. That could possibly eliminate the need for dedicated security monitors and things like that. And when you combine that with Unify Access integration, which we have not covered yet, but we will in a future video, you would actually not only be able to see who is at your front door with a doorbell security cam or something like that, but you could also unlock the door and allow them entry into the building right from your Unify desk phone. Very neat integrations that we will not be getting into in the fundamental series here, but will certainly be topics for future videos on the channel, so stay tuned. How does it work? Well, it works almost exactly the same as Unify Network and Unify Protect. You're going to adopt your talk devices, in this case desk phones, to the controller through the Unify Talk application. And once adopted, you'll handle all device management, settings, propagation, policy, and firmware updates through the Unify Talk interface. You should be seeing a pattern at this point, right? It's the same idea over and over again, just for a different set or different line of devices. In this case, the only difference that I would mention during the setup process is that in my experience, the adoption of the desk phones seemingly happens automatically. That's not an advertised feature or anything, purely anecdotal. Just keep that in mind if you can't find where to adopt your phones, they may have already been adopted. And just in case you were wondering, there is no companion mobile app for this application, which kind of makes sense. There doesn't really need to be one. In terms of deployment, like with Unify Protect, we are looking at hardware-only deployments. That's right. Once again, there are no cloud-hosted or self-hosted software options for this application. Unify Talk can only be run on supported consoles and cloud gateways. This is likely because a fully cloud-hosted voice over IP solution uh, may tend to have very high latency. I've certainly experienced that myself. And it's also worth mentioning that there is also no dedicated hardware controller for Unify Talk like there was with the Unify Protect NBR. So there's no dedicated controller device. In this case, it's consoles and cloud gateways all the way. As is tradition, now let's take a look at a live demo of an in-production instance of Unify Talk so you can get a general idea of what the interface looks like and how it works. All right, so let's take a look at a live in-production version of Unify Talk. Once again, we are at my Unify Site Manager here, um, and we've got my Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus running Unify Talk for us. So we can go ahead and click on the Talk application. And right off the bat, you're going to notice it looks very, very similar to all of the other applications that I've demoed thus far. So we start out on our dashboard here with just some basic information regarding call usage and call volume. So we can see, you know, how many ingoing and outgoing calls we've had and who our most active users are. We also have some basic, you know, system uptime information like how long it's been up, who our service provider is. In this case, we're using Unify Talk SIP. 
and also some basic information regarding how much of our allocated minutes we've used. So with Unified Talk subscriptions, um, each line gets 3,000 minutes per month with the, I think it's about $10 a month subscription. Moving on down to assignments, this is where you will assign your desk phones to certain users. In this case, we've only got three running on this cloud key, and as you can see over here, I need to take a look at my system because we've got uh, poor, good, and poor for call experience in the last 24 hours. Now that's actually because our cloud key did go offline yesterday for a little while, so that's why we're seeing this, but that's good information to have. It lets you know that, hey, something with your system's not going right. And you can see the phone numbers um, that we've assigned to each user. On down to engagement. This is where you can set up your smart attendant. The smart attendant is a very useful feature. So this is where you would set up a system where people call into your office or into your building or what have you. And they are greeted with an automated voice that tells them press one for this, press two for this, press three for that, you know, that kind of thing. I'm sure you've heard that before. So in this case, I have press one for billing, press two for programming, press three for the IT department, and yada, yada, yada. You get the gist. And you can get fairly complicated with the smart attendant, and you can even choose what kind of voice the smart attendant is using. Very cool stuff. Once again, we've got our system log, and this is where you're going to see literally every call that comes in or goes out or is dialed internally for intercom. It also does have some basic SMS features, which I'm not going to get too in-depth in right now because it's still in the labs environment. It's not an official feature just yet. But you can see critical information, uh, such as when the last backup was taken. You can see uh, event logs for specific devices. In my case, there are no device events right now, which is good. We have our telephony options, logs for telephony. We also have billing and admin activity, all standard affair. And then in the settings, here is where we can activate our Unify Talk subscription. So in my case, it's $10 a month for a 3,000 minute line that I am paying for through Unify Talk. I could purchase some new numbers if I wanted to, and you can easily port over numbers from other services. That's what I did when we set up our account in the first place. Organization information, this is where you'll update information regarding your location, your address, as you can see, your business profile here. And this is going to help with 911 emergency response, as well as branded calling. So if you want, when, you know, if, if a client gets a call from you, you want it to say your organization's name, right? So you'll want to set all this information up to make sure that's working correctly. We have our call settings, hold music, ring back, fun things like that. We can have a global voicemail profile that applies to everyone, global contacts that all phones are able to access, as well as our phone designer so that you can provision devices more quickly. You know, you can provision 10 unified talk phones exactly the same with one phone design. Pretty cool stuff. On to our single deployment example for today's topic. You can see it's a very similar setup to what you've seen in the last few videos. We are still sticking with the Dream Machine Pro as our cloud gateway, as it can run the full suite of Unify applications, and would allow us to have that integration with Protect and Access that we discussed earlier. In this example, we have our Dream Machine Pro running Unify Talk along with Unify Network, Unify Protect, and Unify Access. You can see we've got our desk phone here connected up to our switch, just like any other Unify device. And because we have an active Unify Talk subscription line on our Dream Machine Pro, we can take and make incoming and outgoing calls, as well as intercom with our fellow employees in the office. Additionally, because our Dream Machine Pro is running Unify Protect and Access, we can also use our desk phone to view our doorbell camera here to see who is at the front door, intercom with them to see what they want, and unlock the door for them if we so choose. Pretty simple deployment for Unify Talk. And once again, you've done it. Like I mentioned in the previous video, the rest of these videos are going to start to move much quicker as it really is the same concept over and over again applied to a different range of devices. Seeing as this course is designed to be followed in order, I don't want to waste your time spouting the same information over and over again. That being said, if there is anything you would like more clarity on, or you have questions in general, be sure to leave them in the comments below. I will be down there interacting with you guys. Also, let me know if any of the topics I cover in the series would benefit from an in-depth guide where we go into some more detail. 
As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got immense value out of this video. If you did and you want to see the rest of the series as it comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Simple Networks YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below if you so wish, and if you want to contact me for consulting, head on over to sendomamediatech.com backslash contact. The link for that will be in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day.